What's good, YouTube? It's Nonstop No No with another video. Been off this thing here for a minute now. Just been uh, doing my thing. Uh, I haven't been really interested in talking about anything lately uh, as far as boxing wise, so that's why I haven't been on here. Nothing's really been. In, I haven't been really interested in anything. Only thing I'm worried about uh, in the near future is Wilder and uh, Fury. So uh, watch out for my prediction video in a few weeks before the fight. I'll be there live before the fight, too. That's going to be fun, man. Still upset about the undercard. What's going on with that undercard for uh, Fury and Wilder? So that's another thing I got to talk about, but that's, that's another video. Anyways, I want to talk about uh, the uh, PBC Fox deal and the uh, Premier Boxing champion schedule on Fox for uh, first quarter 2019, man. Uh, let's talk about it. Uh, my take, it's, it's a solid, it's a solid schedule. It's a solid schedule. I think it's a solid schedule for uh, the beginning of the year. got a good fight a sleeper fight which is uh, the Caleb Plant versus Jose Buscategui that's a good fight I like that I, I really like that matchup again free TV no DAZN app no ESPS, ESPN plus app no 10.99 a month Free TV. Um, other fights like uh, another intriguing fight that I personally uh, really looking not really not really looking forward to because to tell you the truth I wanted Sean Porter versus Earl Spence. That's what I that's what I personally wanted for unification. Sean Porter versus Earl Spence instead of. Earl Spence versus Mikey Garcia and Sean Porter versus uh, Ugas. But anyways, Sean Porter versus Ugas. Uh, that could, that's a dangerous fight, I believe, for Porter. I really think so. So that's another intriguing matchup that I'm looking forward to seeing on free TV. just say it right now I'm not excited for Earl Spence and Mikey I like both dudes I want to see them do good um it's on pay-per-view I'm not buying the pay-per-view man I'm not buying it it's a mismatch you know um they always say uh you know, a great little guy can always beat a good big guy. Guess what? This is a good little guy versus a good big guy. Um, it's not going to work out for Mikey, man. He's too soft to the body. He's never been at 147 ever. Yeah, he can uh, spar big people all he want. And all that good stuff. It's different when you're in the real fight. Is just different, and Earl Spence is going to introduce him to 147 badly. I'm not, I'm not really excited for that fight because I think it's our, our, you know, the outcome, and I just don't like it on pay per view. It's not a pay per view fight for me. It's not. I don't know why they're pushing pushing this for a pay per view fight. I hope it does good, but I can't get I can't get on board on it. I can't get on board on it. Uh, I'm watching it, yeah, I'm streaming whatever you know I need to do, go somewhere else to go watch it. But me paying my personal money, man. Nah. Um, what else is out there for uh, the fights? Uh, oh, uh, Danny Garcia versus uh, Adrian Granados. That's a 
that's a cool fight right there because we get to see what Danny Garcia could do after his loss um, after his loss with uh, with Porter and Granados you know he, he, he comes to fight he comes to fight so that'll be a fun that'll be a fun match to watch on free TV I'm gonna keep on reminding you guys on free TV um, another one Oh, uh, Caleb, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this dude's name, but Caleb Trouts, Caleb Trex, whatever his name is, his last name, how you pronounce it, versus uh, Kid Chocolate, Peter Quillen. That's a middle-of-the-road fight. I get it. I get that fight again. Um, casuals are not going to understand these matchups because they don't know who these guys are. Obviously, the boxing hardcore, like me and guys on here we know who these guys are so uh, we know the history of these guys we know you know we know how, how they how their career has been going so it's a more of a harder sell for these for the for the casual fan not for me I know what's going on here but uh yeah 2019 the starting of 2019 is looking solid, man. I personally, that's my personal opinion. It's looking solid. Um, my main concern with the uh, with PBC is okay. So what happened was with with 2018 for PBC, they were doing really good the beginning there were there was some good fights in the beginning of, of the year kind of during the summer of the you know during the summer of the year 2018 and then they just fell off the face of the earth the end of this year it's been really dry lately for boxing the end of this year and the only thing we're getting after is uh, the Charlo fights, which I forgot to mention about the PBC card. That's you know the Charlo fights are happening. You know with you know the best available opponents they have with uh, Willie Monroe and uh, that other dude from uh, Detroit, uh, the Hatley. You know they're gonna they're gonna get uh, dispatched real quick. But anyways, um, and we have Wilder and Fury, December 1st. <clears throat> that's the only, that's the only fight I'm looking forward to this whole fourth quarter of this year, 2018. It's been really dry, man. No content at all whatsoever. So again, that's what I'm worried about for 2019. They're going to give us this high... They're gonna give us this high, and then all of a sudden it's just gonna be nothing. The you know the second half of the year. I really hope not. I really hope they're consistent. They need to be consistent <clears throat> as far as PBC you know, and their boxing schedule. They have to be consistent. Um, that's my only gripe of, about things. Stay consistent, and at the same time, when these guys are are fighting. Up, up their competition level. Let's see these unifications. Let's let's see these fights. Let's see the, the best fighting the best, man. That's all we want as far as boxing fans. Um, but I, I I like where they're going. I like I like where they're headed. I just don't know the the future because the past has has shown has shown me otherwise so i'm gonna be uh optimistic about the whole thing and i'll criticize them you know positive or negative criticism when we get there to that point but yeah man check me out uh later during the week or a week or two for uh 
my prediction for uh, Wilder versus Fury and the uh, all access reviews when, when they get done. And I, I will be there at the fight, man. I'm excited about that fight. I will be out there at that fight. It's only a few hours drive for me anyway, so. Anyways, y'all. Peace. I'm out.